Hi guys, welcome back to DXG, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to help you with opening up the Rockstar Games Launcher via Steam and uh, play your Steam games, your Rockstar games, GTA, whatever it is, Red Dead Redemption. I'm just going to show you exactly what I do to play uh, GTA 4, for example, uh, via Steam, via the Rockstar Games Launcher. So there's a few things you're going to have to do before you actually uh, go ahead and do this. First, open up Steam, okay, and make sure that you've got the Rockstar Games Launcher actually downloaded. Make sure you've got your Rockstar game downloaded uh, for whatever it may be, uh, and then we'll get started. So take you step by step through this, open up Steam, okay, and then you're going to want to add, add a game. Okay, uh, so we're just going to go and browse for the Rockstar Games Launcher. Okay, now, if you don't know where that is, then uh, it may be in the same location as I have mine, but yours may be different. So just search for it in the Windows search bar. But I know where mine is, so I'm just going to go to this PC, uh, my C drive, program files, and you'll see Rockstar Games down here and click on the launcher and here's the launcher here. This is what you want to add to your Steam library. So you go ahead, I've already done mine, so I'm not gonna do it. So you're gonna select it and then add non-Steam game to library. Okay, once you've done that, then you're gonna to wanna to also add your Rockstar game. So as I said, I'm gonna be using GTA 4. So I've already done it, but I'll just show you how to do it anyway. Uh, you go to browse and you find out where your uh, Rockstar game is actually downloaded, the file location. Uh, so I'm just going to go to this PC again, my C drive. I'm not going to go to program files. I'm going to go to program files 86. And then you're going to search for uh, Steam. Uh, here it is. Here's Steam. And then you're going to want to search for uh, Steam apps and then common and you're going to have a list of all the games that you've downloaded via Steam in here and you just look for that selected game, GTA 4, there it is and you look for the application, here it is, GTA 4 application you're going to want to add that or whatever game you're dealing with to your uh, Steam library okay, so once you've added those to your Steam library the, you then just want to simply uh, launch the game. Do not launch the Rockstar Games launcher, okay? The launcher is going to open anyway with the game, but you're not going to want to open the game's launcher itself. Just just stay away from doing that. All you're going to open is the actual Rockstar game. So, um, if you're playing with the DualSense controller, make sure you're connected to Steam with that and go to big picture mode and simply just launch the game from big picture mode with your controller, okay? Uh, so let's just, uh, we're not gonna launch it with big picture mode. I'm right here, this is GTA 4 Play. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna run the game, but it's also gonna run the Rockstar Games Launcher at the same time because the game itself is actually gonna have to run off of the Rockstar Games Launcher. So despite just opening the game itself, you're actually opening the launcher with the game and that is also going to enable you to use your DualSense PS5 controller. So, uh, as you can see, uh, GTA 4 is uh, opening up as it should and that's it. You can just go ahead and play your game, whatever it is. So, yeah quit out of this and uh, yeah whatever that is just how you open up and play your Rockstar games via the launcher. Thanks for watching this video guys this is DXG stay tuned for the next video let me know if you need any help with anything uh, when it comes to PC gaming and I'll see you next time.